Good morning. This is the uh, San Sebastian Church. Wonder if you uh, recall this. I'm now uh, coming out from the uh, San Sebastian Church and going over along this uh, Capo district to show you some of the streets which you could remember, I hope. See, one of the best things that uh, local officials have been doing since after the war was uh, changing uh, street names. And it is so annoying when you try to uh, reconstruct history since you need to do some research on what the old names were. Right now, I'm along this uh, road, which I'm not sure what the uh, name is, but on my right side is a uh, school. I'm not sure whether this, this was here during your time. But anyway, on the left is an old fire station. You think you could remember this? Anyway, if you keep going that way, that goes to uh, Taft Avenue and the uh, Ayala Bridge. What a coincidence. At the corner of uh, Felipe Piero is, a, is an apartment. Check out the name. It's called Del Carmen, La Casa Del Carmen building. Huh. It's right across San Sebastian Church. So anyway, so the reason why that building was called uh, Carmen Building is because this place is called Plaza del Carmen. It's across the uh, San Sebastian Church. I'm now headed towards uh, Chiapo Church along Believe It Viejo. There's another road on my left side. I'm not sure what the name is. There aren't no street names. Anyway, check that out. Maybe you haven't uh, seen those things before. They're called uh, tricycles. If it's got an engine, it's called a tricycle. But if it's uh, manual powered or it has a bicycle, it's called a pedicab. This uh, street used to be lined up with a lot of old houses before. But a lot of them had been uh, taken down and replaced with uh, new buildings on my left and right. But uh, we're coming towards a, uh, an old building. So let's take a, a picture of this before they remove this someday. This is uh, an old building. You can see the road is actually a lot higher than it was, it was what it was used to be. So the old buildings are now lower to the ground. On this side used to be the uh, Carinderia of Carmen, but it is now gone. That property used to belong to the Albertos, where the uh, Carinderia of Carmen is. In, be in between this building are small alleyways, and uh, some of them don't have names anymore. So anyway, here it is, one of the uh, some buildings. And you could see that the uh, conditions are really terrible. So, there's an alleyway here. The name is uh, Progreso Street. And at the corner is another old building, which you could see the... Uh, you could almost touch the uh, second floor. Because the road is higher. Calix Bakery. A lot of uh, carinderias here. where you can just uh, point to the food you like and they'll serve it to you so I'll move to my right side so this corner is Maria Carpena this is where my uh, uh, my grandfather used to live so over there that's the uh, Mabini High School before and this side used to be the uh, building of I just uh, sort of forgot the name right now. But anyway, 
Uh, it used to be an old Jewish family that old that they owned this uh, row of apartments where my uh, grandfather used to uh, rent with. Anyway, I'm back to uh, Believe It Viejo and if you continue walking to the end of this road that's Quezon Boulevard. Uh, there used to be an old bridge here before and on the left side of the bridge is uh, an old pagoda. I'll show you the pagoda but the bridge doesn't exist anymore. You can still see a lot of the old houses. A lot of them have become dorms but they uh, seem to be um, haven't been uh, renovated or restored by the owners so most likely whoever will buy that or these things will just be for the land and uh, they'll destroy these old houses and build most likely condos this is the old pagoda which is beside the river I wonder if you could recall this well, years ago you could recall how uh, beautiful this place is and um, this is just how, uh, how it is now really tough seeing uh, the place we grew in becoming like this neglected I've actually uh, made a mistake and I thought the, uh, the bridge was gone so there's still a bridge and uh, you could hardly uh, see the pagoda because it's covered by uh, these trees this is the uh, right portion of the bridge it's actually a lot lot cleaner now from maybe uh, 10 or 15 years ago you could hardly see the uh, the river it's just filled with trash and stuff but now really clean I'm uh, at the end of Philippe Viejo and I'm now at Kelsey uh, Boulevard so this portion has become popular for cycling um, this, all of that portion in front of Quezon Boulevard are lined up with uh, bicycle stores so you can see a lot of stuff being sold for bicycles and cycling so I'm now at Quezon Boulevard so over there that's Capo Bridge and obviously you can see, you can still see on that side, that's uh, Capo Church and uh, if you turn to the right that's uh, going to Ascaraga it used to be Ascaraga but it's now Claro and Resto so that building, that's a new one um, so that's, that building is at the, is at the corner of Quezon Boulevard and uh, Ascaraga or Claro and Recto. On the opposite side of the road, uh, those establishments are popular for uh, military stuff and accessories. So I recall the story of my mom that during their liberation there was a heavy fight along Nelson Boulevard. And then after all the shooting and stuff, they, uh, they went with their friends to Nelson uh, Boulevard to observe what happened and there were a lot of dead bodies Japanese, uh, Filipinos and Americans and she would say that she uh, felt so bad for the American soldiers because they they were so handsome I always found out a fact I always found found out that story very funny so I'm now headed back to San Sebastian Church I walk in these places, I always attract a lot of attention and they'll be calling me uh, Joe or foreigner. Yeah. Right now, if you turn that, that guy just uh, made a comment. Hello vlog, he just said. So that's uh, how it is. I've never been considered a Filipino. By the way, a little bit of trivia. So Maria Carpena. Did you ever wonder who, was, who she was? So apparently she was a famous singer back in the day before you were born. So they named the street after her, Maria Carpena. You can check it out in Google. So uh, most of the buildings here that are being constructed are dorms. 
and uh, it's uh, quite rational because this is called the university belt so it makes sense I just had to stop by the creek it's beside San Sebastian Church and it's uh, it's called the Hawili tree sometimes they call it uh, the big it's a local native tree and uh, I think some people eat the uh, fruits of this this uh, street is beside San Sebastian Church and uh, some some more old houses here Wow I wonder if you could see this This house looks like uh, from the 1960s or late 50s. The end of this road, that's uh, Azcaraga. More old houses. Beautiful. Even the piping of these houses had not been uh, changed. They're still the same ones made of steel or wrought iron I just uh, found out that the name of the road is San Sebastian Street I don't know whether you could recall this old building on that side so it looks like it was made during maybe uh, 1950s property here for sale this is how I look when I'm in my uh, motorbike attire so they call this the university belt so a lot of uh, schools are here so you've got university of the east which is in front of me that's university of the east and if you go that way that goes to the visoria and this, you see this uh, uh, railway transit that space used to be uh, the tranvia or the cable car which they removed in the 19 after the war I decided to cross here to the opposite side so that I can go to Legarda. I'm now crossing to the opposite side. Now this is a rare occurrence. Usually they'll run you over. Uh, cars don't respect pedestrians here. So you better be on the lookout every time you cross the roads. Now, before COVID or before the pandemic, this would normally be a very busy uh, place, but hardly any people right now. I'm pretty sure that some of these establishments only serve for takeout, as I don't see any people dining in. Public and uh, those vinos are pretty good business too. I'm at the corner of Legarda and Azcarga or Recto. This is called Mendiola. So if you go that way, that goes back to San Sebastian. And uh, this way, we're going towards uh, Santa Mesa Boulevard or it's now called Magsaysay Boulevard. This area also called Sampaloc area. A popular chicken business here. Chooks to go. And it's very good. Not a paid promotion. I just love that thing. Now, this place used to be lined up with uh, some of the large mansions in the uh, before the war. And uh, on that side is uh, San Miguel district. So this portion is San Palo, and this is where the uh, the Soms used to live. Hi. That guy is uh, selling shomai. So many roads without any decent uh, signs, so you cannot tell what the name of that road is. But most likely, even if they have a name, it would have been uh, modernized. It's not the old names anymore. So I'm at the corner of this road which has got no name and uh, that's the Garda, that's where the, uh, the Soames house was before and the, uh, the story of my dad was 
behind their house is a small bridge that connects to the uh, field of San Beda College. So he would usually go to school crossing that bridge. Now I'm headed towards this church. The reason why I choose uh, churches is because they are good landmarks and uh, would usually give you uh, an orientation, right? For um, where you were during those days. I'm pretty sure you would have gone to this church because this church is very unique. It's uh, in one land, there are two churches. This is the uh, St. Anthony Shrine and beside the St. Anthony Shrine is the uh, Church of Loreto. Do you remember these two churches? This is how the inside of the church looks like. Now, most likely it had been uh, renovated from your time. This is the interior of the uh, St. Francis Church or the St. Anthony Church. That guy started laughing when I started talking Tagalog to him. <laughs> so the name of this road is uh, Figuera Street. I don't think uh, you could remember any of these things anymore. A lot of these things are new except this uh, building on my left. I'm not sure. I'm uh, getting more street names here. Uh, so this ra main road is called Earnshaw Street. I'm not sure whether this used to be the old name, but anyway, I'll show you the name. Anyway, if you keep walking that way, you'll come out in España. And if you turn left, you're going back to Quiapo. And if you turn right, that goes to uh, Quezon City. Anyway, I'm walking back to the Garda and I'll uh, give you some orientation as to uh, the, prob the probable site of the Somme's house. Here's another street you might remember. It's called Largi Sabal. So I'm now back at the corner of uh, Figuera Street and the Garda. So if you turn left that way, that goes to Santa Mesa Boulevard. And if you turn right, that goes to Algarga. As you can see, if you look at the uh, light rail transit line, the road curves because it just follows the road. And at the actual curve of the road, there are three schools right beside each other. One is Santa Catalina College. The other one is, uh, well, the other two ones are new ones. So we'll just stick to uh, Santa Catalina. Maybe you might remember or recall uh, any, uh, if you remember that school. Anyway, so right behind one of these schools is the field of San Beda. I'm now heading back to Algarga to uh, stop by and uh, buy some of this stuff. It's a favorite, personal favorite of mine. It's called uh, cinnamon bread. And uh, normally you can buy this in, in Baguio. But uh, some source or bakeries in Manila sometimes make them as well. Okay, now back at the corner of the Garda and El Carga, now Recto. So this is it. So if you go that way, it goes to the Visoria. And we're going to go to uh, San Vera College. At the end of this road is Malacanang. But uh, normally they have a gate and uh, it's usually off limits to the public. Let's hope it's open and uh, we could see Malacanang. So as you pass through these gates, there are several schools here. On my right is Central Escolar University. Beside it is uh, La Consolación College. And here it's San Beda College, which is now San Beda University. Yeah. Unfortunately, the, uh, the gate to Malacanang is too close. Beside Malacanang is another church that's called San Miguel Church. And uh, the reason why it's called San Miguel Church is also because uh, San Miguel District. Yep, uh, those people just called my attention again. 
like I said, uh, foreigner. Uh -huh. And normally it takes a lot of explanation. It usually ends up into a discussion how I end up looking this way. Here's another creek. So in Manila they call this Ostero. So you could see that they made a path. So people can uh, walk along the Estero. And it's not finished yet. How I wish I could describe to you how it smells like. One of the biggest blunders that administrations have done is uh, not reconstructing the mass transport system. DNR, the railway, and uh, the tramvia or the cable car. And uh, that's the jeep that replaced the, uh, the cable car or the tramvia. And the jeep had always been, has always become the, uh, the symbol of uh, resourcefulness but also another source of traffic. They're called sidewalk vendors. I'm now heading back to our country bus center. It's uh, finished my plug. Uh, on my left, the reason why I got these uh, small hangers on my bag, I get stuff that I buy. So that's my uh, cinnamon bread. So, uh, Three pieces of uh, cinnamon bread for around uh, less than 40 cents. Okay, about 35 cents US cents. And it's best with a cup of uh, coffee. So I'm now heading back to my motorbike, which is parked inside the parking lot of San Sebastian Church. I'm back on my steep. I'll be going back home and uh, try to upload this today hope you enjoyed the vlog of manila and uh, i also hope that maybe some of the places i showed you would have uh, refreshed your memory i'm on my way home now now behind me is espana and if you go over to that direction espana now becomes uh, quezon avenue so this road here that goes to uh, where we used to live that's now Rodriguez and um, over to that side that goes to Bonifacio we're going to Caloocan this place is called Welcome Rotonda this is the uh, hospital I was born in Santa Teresita Another trivia of Espana The reason why they cannot change the name is because there is a uh, an agreement between the government of before and when they developed the Palo area that they couldn't change uh, the name of Espana Eternally I actually saw an old uh, road sign so the name of this road used to be uh, Laong Laan, which is now named Rojas. So I just crossed that road. That's uh, Banawe. This is the uh, place where the older sister of my mom lives before. <laughs>